Good morning, John. How are you? I'm doing great. Nice to hear you. It's nice to hear you, and I'm anxious to talk about one of my favorite subjects, spies. <laughs> um, you know, as as a little kid, I grew up watching all those great spy shows like Man from Uncle and I Spy, and um, you know, some of that some of that was taken from the pages of the Cold War, but uh, enhanced. Are we still in 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 spy mode in in this country? Are do we still have spies? <laughs> we we have a robust spy service, both both to defend against foreign intelligence officers that are trying to undermine our democracy, and also to collect information around the world that our policymakers need. And so, uh, you know, any state that's going to try to defend itself in the world today is, go is going to have some version of a spy service. And uh, and, and the new show Spy Wars, uh, which is on the Smithsonian Channel. Uh, are, they're dealing more with the Cold War uh, type spy. Or are they doing more with uh, with modern spying? Well, it's interesting. It had, there's a number of episodes, and they deal with a variety of issues. And so, you know, I was in Moscow and worked on Russia issues. And so, there's stories from the Cold War, but there's also stories uh, that I was involved in in the in the 2000s. And then there's stories related to terrorism and other issues that are, you know, you know, very prescient today and close to our time. You know, my, my, my first question is is from, you know, the eight-year-old kid inside me. Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the stuff that spies use, I mean, uh, is is some of that real? I mean, the watches that turn into garats and, and things like that. I mean, <laughs> were, were those available? You know, well, well, real espionage collecting information is, you know, is a... Is involves probably more the human factor, developing relationships, finding people who have needs and have access to information we need to have. And so, yes, absolutely, our spy services are among the best in the world, and they provide us with with gear if we need to use it. But as you'll see from these episodes in the Damian Lewis series is, you know, a lot of it is, is you know, using your head and using relationships and, 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 and building those kind of important connections and trust between people who can provide us information. So if we need that kind of, uh, you know, technology, we can certainly use it. But but the game is much more sort of, uh, you know, person to person. It's it's more subtle than that. I understand that uh, through some of the reading I've done that some of these guys that, that were, you know, Cold War spies, after they retired, they became friends with, with their counterparts and, and still correspond. <laughs> There's some truth in that. You know, it, it there is something to the fact that, you know, people who engage in a in a in a career that is very unusual, you know, in fact there's very there's a very small number of people who are in the clandestine service. And, you know, there's people overseas in Britain, Israel, China, Russia that, that engage in this. And so there's almost sort of a camaraderie of uh, you know of the kind of things you work on. But but that doesn't mean to diminish the fact that, you know, our job is to defend this country. And those people who we may be friendly with, uh, you know, while doing our work or when we retire, you know, we think of our country first. And if they're trying to, to hurt our country, we'll stop them any way we can. Are, are women more uh, better at being spies than men are? I mean, uh, do you find that true? Well, if you look at the CIA today, you know, almost all of the senior leaders are women. And, uh, you know, women have been involved in the espionage game since the beginning, uh, and you know are, are excellent at it, and in some places overseas that have misogynist cultures that don't believe, you know, they don't take women seriously. Using our women are our best weapons in some of those places, and so, um, you know, it is it is a, you know, a game that people play, men and women both. Uh, it's very important, and uh, you know, I think you'll see from from watching the series that uh, by no means is it simply a, a, a field for men. Now, now the series is Spy Wars. It's on the Smithsonian Channel, and it is, uh, it is kind of a procedural show, isn't it? I mean, you're you're doing reenactments and you're showing people how how things are are kind of done in this spy world. Well, in, they there is some reenactments, but there's also you know real footage, and these are specific cases. They're you know terrorist cases that we work with the British to to bring down Al Qaeda. It is. They're Russian spies, you know, inside the FBI and, and the CIA and the British services. Um, so these are, you know, hour-long stories uh, all through the Cold War and up to the present day, you know, on a variety of areas and issues. Uh, and it's essentially, the, the, you know, the point is to show the kind of work 
that we and our allies are engaged in even today. Yeah, it's it's meticulous work, and and you know I I sometimes make make light of it, but it is it is frustratingly meticulous to collect that information for the for for the country. Uh, John, I I appreciate your time. I appreciate what you do, uh, and we're all going to be watching Spy Wars on the Smithsonian Channel. Um, it, it, it's it's a brilliantly put together show. Production wise, it's just amazingly done. And it's all true. I mean, from the episodes that I'm in or was involved in, uh, I think they did an excellent job of trying to pull together things to give a really good understanding for things. Because often in the secret world, you know, there's conspiracies and there's kind of strange information out there. But they did a good job of, uh, of providing things in an accurate sense, I believe. John, thank you so much for your time this morning and, and uh, have a great day. You too. My pleasure. Thanks much, Tony.